everyone, it's Colin from Ireland's Technology Blog. Um, today we have a review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S, and this is the 8.4 version, but there is also a bigger 10 inch plus version as well. Um, it's a three gigabyte octa-core uh, tablet running four cores at 1.9 gigahertz and four um, at 1.3 gigahertz. Um, you've got an eight megapixel camera on the back and a 2.1 megapixel camera on the front. Um, so let's just take a little tour around the device. So on the front, you have your, your typical Samsung buttons, center home button, back button, um, multitasking button. Up the top, you've got your camera and sensors. On the left-hand side, there is nothing at all. On the right-hand side, you've got your micro SD card. You've got a kind of a, an IOR kind of port here, and you've got your volume rocker and your power key. On the top, on this side, you've just got your speaker grill, and then on the bottom, on the same, you've got your speaker grill, and you've got a three and a half mil jack and your micro SD socket. Um, powering all this is a 4,900 milliamp battery, um, which should see you good for about 12 hours of, of reasonably heavy use. Um, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting through most of the day. Um, on the back of the device, that eight megapixel camera, as I said, and the the flash as well, um, and it's actually quite a good camera as tablets go. Um, pictures are are good if you know just a little bit normal. Um, and then you've got kind of these pushable buttons, which are going to be used for accessories at some point in the future. Um, so bring you into the device, you've got fingerprint scanner for unlocking. Recognized. Um, it's running Samsung's TouchWiz. Um, and it's Android 4.4 underneath that. Um, it's got this kind of magazine UI, as, as Samsung calls it, um, which means you can kind of change the tile size and move them around, kind of very like Windows and Windows Phone. Um, you have this kind of um, different news sources feeding in here, quite like um, Flipboard. Um, and again, you can resize these to be, you know, whatever whatever you want. Um, it is quite nice. Um, some people have said they're not overly fond of it, but I, I quite like it. Um, one of the good features about this is um, multi-window. So if we bring up Chrome here and we just slide our finger in from the right and then we say, let's bring up my files. We drag that down here. We've now got two windows that we can independently use. But let's bring in another window and let's say gallery and we bring it down here. So the bottom window changes now to the gallery. But if you tap this little button here, you can see this little kind of cards icon and you can now switch between the windows. Um, which is really good um, and are quite handy for filling in online forms and that if you need to reference something from an email or something like that. Um, one great feature if you've got kids is kids mode. Um, you can come in here and the kids can all have their own login and just profile support on this device. So <clears throat> each kid could have their own fingerprint scanning or login um, and you can come in and add applications via the parent mode and in here you can set things like the daily play limit um, which is which is good so you can edit that to be whatever you want half an hour every day um, and you can add children in here no problem and they're not allowed to back out of it unless they have the code so there's no fear of them getting back into the main system <coughs> and um, breaking something on you um, in terms of benchmarking um, it's not quite up there with the, the latest phones, but for a tablet, uh, this score in, on Tutu is perfect. It's going to run every game and it's going to run them perfectly for you. Um, you won't need to worry about that. Um, overall, it's a really, really nice tablet. The screen is pretty much the best out there as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's not massive uh, PPI. It's in the mid 300s, um, but it's just really, really nice really clear and really crisp and um, the ambient light sensor on it can be a little bit funny at some times where it brightens up or dims down um, and it's not quite right all the time but overall it's um, a really nice screen so um, if you're in the market for a new premium tablet then the galaxy s tab or tab s rather 
um, is a very, very nice option for you. Stay tuned to our own technologyblog.com.